Time to our friend. Let's take a look at this interview we had a build up um, towards the Women's World Cup, which kicks off in July. And let's take a look at the build up, the countdown to the Women's World Cup. Good morning, Nigeria. This is Brendan Butcher coming to you from Perth in Western Australia, one of the venues that will be used for the upcoming Women's World Cup that's to be held all around Australia and New Zealand starting in July of this year in, let me see, 90 days, six hours and 47 minutes away from now till kickoff. Let me start off though by saying hello again to all of my friends in Nigeria, particularly River State, and thank you to Soporinyi for letting me uh, have this opportunity to talk to my old friends. My days as a first class referee in Nigeria are certainly well remembered. So I know you're getting excited, we're getting excited here too. There will be 32 teams featured, and as I said, they will be playing in many different venues all over Australia, all over New Zealand. I started off by wishing you all good morning. Now that's one of the first things you have to know. Perth, where I am, on the west coast of Australia, is seven hours ahead of Nigeria time. Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane on the east coast of Australia are nine hours ahead of Nigeria. And in Auckland in New Zealand, that's another two hours ahead of Nigeria again. I'm talking to you from Perth right now and we're overlooking one of the parks that will be used by several of the teams that are visiting Perth for their training. The main venue in Perth is what we call HBF Park. I see it's down in the website as the uh, Perth Rectangular site or some silly nonsense. But it's a beautiful venue. It's just been refurbished and that's all ready to go. One of the questions that Soporinyi has asked me is what is the state of preparedness of Australia? Well, as many of you will remember, Australia hosted the Olympics in Sydney in the year 2000. Nigeria. Nigeria. And all right, um, thank you very much to our man Brendan Butcher from Australia to give us, um, giving us all the live update from the Women's World Cup. Hopefully, um, you can watch the highlights, exclusive insight on RSTV. Thank you very much. And time not our friend, hopefully um, on Saturday we can do this again for the Women's World Cup. So that's our package. Thank you very much. And oh God bless the King of England. Of course, um, don't forget Rivers United will play tomorrow against um, Bayelsa United in the Nigerian Professional Football League. Thank you very much for sticking around. My name is Sopriye Godwin Jadatin. Thank you very much and God bless you.